fellow countrymen and women, I salute you in the course of our nation's history, and I salute you in the name of the struggle. Our country is bleeding. The soul and spirit of our nation is crying, crying for justice, crying for righteousness, and crying for vengeance. Mahmoud Yakubu Professor stabbed the very soul of Nigeria when he graduated from having inconclusive election in his first term. He has graduated to over voting in his second term in office. In the first term, the PDP and opposition parties were disenfranchised and disillusioned by the concepts of inconclusive elections. The new strategy adopted by Mahmoud Yakubu now is over voting. 90% of the state's result that was presented announced over voting. Strongholds of the PDP, they declared over voting and canceled results in those areas. I have done a computation of all the over votings recorded amounted to over 2 million votes. But because they do not want the margin of cancelled votes to be more than the margin of winning, they reduced it to 900 and something. But it is a fallacious lie. It is a malicious lie. It will not stand. I want to announce to Bola Ahmed Tinubu that your victory is temporal and evaporative. I repeat again, your victory is temporal and evaporative. We will upturn that stolen mandate. And the battle to salvage Nigeria from these economic cankerworms and financial scavengers, from these demons in power, for us is a battle of no retreat, no surrender. We will do everything within legal means. We will do everything assisted by God Almighty to make sure that the mandate of the people, given, freely given to Atiku Abubakar, is retrieved. We spent over 400 billion Naira just for a caricature show. INEC deceived Nigerians. President Muhammad Buhari and Professor um, Yakubu Mahmoud, they are the greatest corn, corn men that came out of Africa. The whole concept of redesigning Nera was a deception because money were given to Bola Ahmed Tinubu and APC shared new notes across the country on election day. Why PDP was starved of funds. So the issue of going to court, accusing the Mefele, was all part of the scam, was all part of the drama, was all part of deception, a grand style of deception against Nigerians. But I want to warn that this is not the end. This is not the end. Justice at the end of the day shall prevail because weeping may tarry for until night, but joy cometh in the morning. The Holy Book said, shall we continue in sin and ask grace to abound? We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. I call on all PDP supporters all over the country and all lovers of democracy, not to allow this to stand. In an unjust society, silence is a crime. I remain Dino Melaye. God bless you.